campus craziness. It's summer vacation, but the professors are still on the job. Some of them, and some of them are still bonkers. At Montclair State University, a professor has just been fired after saying he wants both President Trump and Senator John McCain to die. Meanwhile, at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, the school is losing both students and money thanks to a faculty member who said that white people should die. Cabot Phillips is media director at CampusReform.org, and he joins us tonight. Cabot, thanks all for coming on. You keep track of this stuff so we don't need to go completely crazy of following it as carefully as you do. What's going on at Montclair State? This is just another example of how, yes, professors have the right to say these outlandish things, but guess what? We, as their employers, aka taxpayers, have the right to hold them accountable. And this professor who said that Trump deserves a bullet in the head, John McCain needs to die because of his health care vote, he's not playing the victim card, saying they're restraining my academic freedom. Not realizing that academic freedom is not some blanket thing that protects you from your employer holding you accountable for your phrases and things that you're saying uh, on social media. And also, it's important to remember, these are professors. These are people molding our next generation. They should be held to a higher standard than, you know, repeating things sounding like the comment section of a Huffington Post article, okay? This is a professor we're talking about. Well, it's just dumb. I mean, there's no, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not, <laughs> it's no plenty discourse. of people reach conclusions I disagree with, but, you know, they, they reach provocative conclusions. They're interesting, yeah. you know? Go die? Yeah. I mean, that's, is that, that's, and that's an what, academic debate now? That's what we see. It's a result of the right. discourse pushed by the left. When you label an entire segment of society that you disagree with, Nazis and fascists, right. it becomes socially acceptable and almost morally reprehensible to not say these violent things against of them. Course. And so are we really surprised to see this kind of rhetoric? And this professor being fired, it's not like we're losing some literary scholar or some historical, you know, heavyweight. This is a guy who was there to teach a course on the life of Beyonce. Okay, I love Beyonce as much as the next person, but we shouldn't be using taxpayer money to have a professor teaching a course on Beyonce. So, so he's a moron teaching a frivolous non-subject, <laughs> and now he'll probably wind up at Princeton uh, because he's now a celebrity. Trinity College, Hartford, Connecticut. I went there a couple months ago. They had a professor called Johnny Eric Williams yeah. host a Facebook rant um, by somebody else saying that you should let white people die if you ever see them in trouble. And he put a hashtag at the bottom, let them effing die. He was not fired. The school has defended him. The president of the college, Joanne uh, Berger Sweeney, uh, has basically described him as a victim of the right wing. What's happened since? Since then, the school has come out and admitted that they've had over a quarter million dollars of funding from donors pulled from the university. And they've had numerous students say, I'm not going to attend the school because of the way you handle the situation. And what it is, it's market forces at work, where as a light is you know, being shined on these kinds of things. For parents are saying, I'm not sending my kid to that university. We cover the same thing, leadership institutes, campus reform, how Missouri, ever since that free speech debacle, they have empty buildings full of empty dorm rooms because students just aren't attending. But what's so interesting in this specific case, so here you have a professor with tenure who's an yeah. open racist endorsing violence. These schools are famous for being worried about the safety of their students. Has Trinity College, to your knowledge, begun an investigation to determine what, what this guy was like in class? If he was going to write this in a public forum online, how do you treat his students? Absolutely. We've seen multiple students come forward and say this is indicative of the environment that is in his classroom. If you go and look at his Rate My Professors, a lot of the students are saying, well, he's a good professor as long as you keep your mouth shut and just kind of go along with what he says. That's the opposite of what a classroom should be. A classroom but has the no. school, to your knowledge, has the school conducted no. an investigation? Right. Not so they don't even want to. They have not investigated. He is currently on you know, administrative leave. He'll be back very soon. Let's be honest. If, if this person said anything against a Democratic senator or a Democratic president, they wouldn't have a job. They'd Man, be out of a if, job in a If day. Trinity sends me a fundraising letter, I'm just going to call directly back to the fundraising office and just laugh in the phone before hanging up. <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.